Hey guys, Dagger Matt here for another one of my videos showing you edge weapons of World War II. Um, but today, I don't have a German item. I have something a little bit different. I have a World War II Japanese officer sword in phenomenal condition. So, <clears throat> I sell anywhere between 250 and 300 German edged weapons a year, sometimes more. Um, Japanese swords, maybe 5 to 10. Right, so that just shows you the rarity of these pieces. They're more difficult to find, and they're more difficult to find at a reasonable price for a dealer. <clears throat> so that being said, um, this particular piece is a out of the woodwork find. And what that vernacular means in our collecting field means it came out of somewhere where it's been for a very long time, brand new to the market. Okay, so this is a Japanese World War II officer sword in phenomenal condition, so I just want to go over the condition with you. So the scabbard has, I would say, about 90% of the original paint. It's a brownish green color. I don't know how the camera picks that up, but it's in very nice condition. And then the uh, scabbard fittings have a nice little bit of gilding to them. And I'd say about 50 to 60% of that remains on the scabbard fittings, which is uncommon um, for these Japanese pieces, because typically you don't find them in this condition. Um, this particular sword, the structure of it, is this hand guard, or hand uh, guard goes over the blade, over the tang of the blade, and then the handle goes over the tang. Underneath this is the tang. This little wooden dowel, okay, there's a Japanese name for it, which I'm not going to try to pronounce, um, holds this grip on. But on this particular piece, I remove this wooden dowel, but there's another one I suspect underneath the wrap of the handle. Um, I'm not gonna go fishing around underneath this wrap because this eel skin, the white portion underneath the wrap is eel skin, is extremely delicate and I do not wanna damage it. So um, it's gonna remain a mystery, but I can tell you this from handling so many Japanese weapons over the years, this blade is not a 20th century production. Um, these blades <clears throat> were handed down from family to family, generation to generation, and lasted hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, some of these blades are five, 600 years old easily, um, even used in World War II. But unfortunately, this is gonna remain one of those mysteries because I don't wanna damage this handle taking it off. But what I will do for you is I'm gonna remove the sword from the scabbard. So in order to do that, there's a little button release on here. Just like the Kriegsmarine daggers, there's a button release. You push this down and it releases the sword. Just like a Kriegsmarine, right? So we're gonna take this sword out of its scabbard so I can show it to you. Unlike most of the uh, edged weapons that I show you guys <clears throat> that are ceremonial, like SA daggers and Luftwaffe daggers and Kriegsmarine daggers, they were all ceremonial. They were never used or intended to be used in battle. This particular piece was carried by Japanese officers and actually used in battle. The blade on this particular piece is extremely sharp. It's like a razor. I can't even touch it with my fingers, okay? It's razor sharp. And then the other thing that you see in a lot of these daggers, or swords, nice dagger, excuse me. A lot of these swords that have been taken apart over the years is you get all kinds of loose fittings, okay? But in this, everything is nice and tight. There's nothing loose, okay? Everything is nice and tight the way it should be. All the fittings, the grip, everything, because unfortunately I couldn't take it apart um, to find out who the manufacturer was on it or the maker on this particular sword. So in that case, it remains, you know, in the condition that it was found. Um, it's in really, really nice condition. The blade is extremely clean. Um, what you're looking for is no nicks or dings to show that it's been played with, and this doesn't have them. Um, but this particular piece is in great shape. The only thing I'm sad about is that I cannot read the tang. Okay, I really wish I could take this grip off to read the tang. But honestly, for me, who is not necessarily a collector of Japanese edge weapons, it doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Yes, it'll increase the value if I find out the, the sword is, you know, made by a famous maker and four or five hundred years old. Um, but in this particular case, uh, it's not worth the risk of the value inherently in this sword 
for me to start messing around and uh, pulling this grip apart and potentially damaging what is very, very fragile. And up to this point has survived for, you know, 100 years. And now I'm not going to be the one to destroy it. So the other thing that's pretty neat about this piece, it does have the porta pee with it. The porta pee is not in great condition, but very rarely do you see these still attached to the swords. Um, if you look at period World War II pictures, you'll see uh, these uh, porta pees hanging from the officer's uh, scabbard or the officer's sword. Um, in World War II pictures. So it's pretty cool that that's still on there. I really like that. The fittings, like I said, on the scabbard or on the sword are phenomenal. Um, the grip wrap is perfect on this. The eel skin's in great shape. The blade's in great shape. Honestly, when you find World War II Japanese swords, this is the condition that you want to find them in. You don't find them in this condition very often anymore, and I'm, I'm so thankful that I got an opportunity to own this. Um, the best part about my job is I get to handle history every single day. Every day I get to handle something from history that was a, an essential part and played an essential part in the history of the world. And um, this Japanese sword is just another example of that. Uh, you know, being able to handle three, four hundred uh, edge weapons a year, um, historical edge weapons. And I do dabble in other stuff, like if I buy... Um, Closeouts or cleanouts. I'll, I'll pick up metals here and there. A um, couple of metals that I picked up this week: the KVK with swords, an Eastern Front World War II German medal, a Hindenburg cross, and a West Wall medal. Um, so I do get to see other things other than edge weapons. Um, but obviously, edge weapons is my area of expertise. Um, you guys have been sending me a lot of great pieces to authenticate. You guys have been sharing a lot of great information with me. Um, I appreciate all the feedback I got from you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit it now. If you like this video, hit the like button. And uh, if you hit that subscribe button, you'll every time a new video is uploaded by me, you get to see it. And of course, everything that I, I show on this page is for sale. Stuff I sell sells very, very, very quick. So if you're interested, let me know. And um, these are available uh, for purchase um, from Dagger Matt Militaria. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I'll continue to make great content for you guys. I go, hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks.